Hey guys, it's Sean O'Connell, the Managing Director here at Cinema Blend, and I am working my way through all of the episodes of Game of Thrones, and I am a total newcomer to the show, have not seen it before, so we figured it would be a pretty good idea for me to watch and react. It's a daunting task, but I'm giving it my all, and I am up to Season 2, Episode 7, which I've been told is called A Man Without Honor. Uh, let me try to guess who that might refer to before playing the episode. Some of the comments want me to have some fun and guess what the episode titles might mean. Right now, I think it's Theon, uh, who is betraying his brother, Rob, and taking over Winterfell. But, you know, knowing that, it's probably somebody completely different. So why don't we just press play and dive right into Season 2, Episode 7 and find out who they're talking about. So, you're going to want to follow along with all these reaction videos as I do them. Do me a favor, go down, hit subscribe, turn on your notifications. Every single time I post a new video reacting to Game of Thrones, you will be alerted immediately and we'll continue this journey together. Right now we're up to Season 2, Episode 7, so let's find out who is the Man Without Honor. Maybe the Man Without Honor is whoever stole Danny's dragons. Who would steal Danny's dragons? And what was that tower that they were taking them to? I like nothing about the Greyjoys. They are greedy and short-sighted people. Here we go! Season 2, Episode 7. A Man Without Honor. Which really could be anybody on this show. Let a cripple escape. The boy can't walk. Huh. But somehow he slipped past you. The giant must have took him. The giant? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. If I find them soon enough, I won't hurt them. Lie. Well, I'll hurt them, but I won't kill them. Probably a Those lie. Those boys are of far more value to you alive. You're a boy who's never been with a girl. <laughs> Don't your stones start to hurt if your bond forgets it? <laughs> Don't call them that. I heard they get all swollen and bruised if you don't use them. Of course, maybe that's just what the lads say when they want me feeling sorry for them. <laughs> As if I'd feel sorry for them. That old trick. Oh, thank goodness. This will be my last war. Win or lose. The War of Five Kings, they're calling it. My legacy will be determined in the coming months. You know what legacy means? Harold the Black thought this castle would be his legacy. Do you know what happened? Dragons? Yes. Oh. Dragons happened. Harren and all his sons roasted alive within these walls. Ooh. Aegon Targaryen changed the rules. Visenya Targaryen was a great warrior. She's a heroine of yours, I take it. Are most girls more interested in the pretty maidens from the songs? Most girls are idiots. <laughs> Arya is awesome. You remind me of my daughter. She's a rare breed. Can't say I've ever met a literate stonemason. Have you met many stonemasons, my lord? Careful now, girl. I enjoy you, but be careful. Hmm. Take that back to the kitchen. Eat what you want. And don't stab me in the neck. Go. My lord. Low-born girls say my lord, not my lord. If you're going to pose as a commoner, you should do it properly. <laughs> My mother served Lady Dustin for many years, my lord. She taught me how to speak proper. Properly. You're too smart for your own good. Has anyone told you that? Yes. Go on. I like how they're growing to like each other, sort of. Like, in a Game of Thrones type way. Respect. They're both sort of starting to respect each other, but they better remember where they're both pardon, from. Sir. I could show you the streams to fish, the woods to hunt. Build yourself a cabin and find a woman to lie within the night. John, she's manipulating Walk. you, dude. Anyone can see that. I could teach you how to do it. I know how to do it. You know nothing, John Snow. Uh, the quickest way to any man is through sex. You know nothing, John Snow. That's an important line, is it not? Don't people repeat that often? Was that the moment? That girl? She's significant? She's gonna end up being significant. Fine, fair enough. Put him in with the Kingslayer for now. Have your boy watch over them. Jamie! Corrin! 
Finally! That will be all. Let me help you. Please. Tell me how. Find my dragons. I know the dragons are small, but hiding dragons seems hard. How long do we get back to your crows? <laughs> Jon Snow, you're an idiot! Should have took me while you had the chance. Should have killed her while you had the chance. <laughs> It's all right. Give me that. If the queen sees, I can have Joffrey's children now. Help me flip it over. Oh wow, I didn't even think about that. Huh. Oh, no. What? You're gonna kill her? Where are you going? To tell her grace. <gasps> Say nothing to anyone. Do you understand? When they told Jamie he wasn't allowed in the birthing room, he smiled and asked which one of them proposed to keep him out. Joffrey will show you no such devotion. Hmm. Love no one but your children. On that front, a mother has no choice. Shouldn't I love Joffrey, Your Grace? You can try. Little dove. Hey! Who did you say your mother hey. was again? Cinder Lannister. Jamie Lannister. She's the fat one. I, I squired for you once, you know? I remember everything about that day. Your helmet, your horse. That was the best day of my life. Oh. Wow. My life has left me uniquely unfit for constraint. And yet you've been imprisoned for several episodes. When have you thought about? Of course, every day. It's actually quite simple. Well, let me help you. You'll only have to do one thing. Tell me. Oh, no. Look out. You'll have to die. Oh! Oh! Gets out, Rob has no negotiating tactic whatsoever. Oh boy. Those on the margins often come to control the center, and those in the center make room for them, willingly or otherwise. That's how I feel, Khaleesi. I'm trying to find out what's happening here. The mother of dragons will be with her babies. Forever. Oh, hey, what? Oh. Nice! Oh! Her mother should be with her children. Where will you run to, Daenerys Stormborn? Your dragons wait for you in the House of the Undying. That dude creeps me out. Oh, they caught him? Nice. Take him to the stockade and gag him. I know he's worth more alive than dead, but damn, do you just want to put Since a when do you light your own dagger in his belly? I need to be alone with him. Is that a woman? Do you hear them out there? <laughs> they want your head. You are no knight. You have forsaken every vow you ever took. So many vows. Defend the king, obey the king, obey your father, protect the innocent, defend the weak. And what if your father despises the king? What if the king massacres the innocent? It's too much. No matter what you do, you're forsaking one vow or another. Where did you find this beast? <laughs> oh, come on, leave Brianna alone. She is a truer knight than you will ever be. Fact. Kingslayer. Kingslayer. You are a man without honor. I've never been with any woman but Cersei. So in my own way, 
I have more honor than poor old dead Ned. Now, when, when good old Ned came home with some horse baby, did you pretend to love it? No. You're not very good at pretending. He's going to talk himself into a death. Woman. How could you not hate him? The last sword. Oh, is she going to kill him? I told you what would happen if you served me loyal. And what would happen if you did not? There are well, you who still question whether your new lord means what he says. Oh, God. Is Here is the answer to your question. remains of Bran Stark? Is Bran Stark no longer with us? And yet Jamie Lannister lives? For now? <laughs> For a little bit longer? Gosh, alright, it's all coming to a head. Season 2 is all starting to come to a head. Um, Jamie's point to Kat is fascinating because I assume she loved Jon Snow and yet, for all the reasons that he brought up, she might not. Like, she might not. She might have viewed him as truly the bastard that we've been reminded again and again and again um, uh, that he is. Uh, and and so, yeah, she may resent him. And she may have always viewed him as the time that my loyal husband cheated. So that's a fascinating um, seed to plant. Boy, Theon, did you actually, did Theon actually go through with it? The way that that episode ended suggested that Theon made a huge, huge mistake. And I mean, not just taking over Winterfell, but if he gets rid of Bran and uh, Robin and Lady Stark are going to be... <sighs> Can't even imagine. Um, I got to take time to talk about Jon Snow. Uh, listen, I like Jon Snow. I do. I like him as a character, but this is an unforgivable mistake. Just an idiot to let your guard down. Okay, so he lets this prisoner live because he um, has compassion. And when they talked about Khaleesi, when Joran, uh, Jorah talked about Khaleesi, he says, look, I, I want you on the throne because you have a you have a heart, a gentle heart. I see it inside of you. And, and Jon Snow has one too. And Jon Snow, he, j he goes where he's told and he didn't belong at the wall and he shouldn't be a ranger. And when he's ordered to behead this woman, he doesn't, right? And I keep saying it's going to cost him, it's going to cost him. Jon Snow will find some way out of it, I would imagine. But it proves that he does not have the strength and the fortitude to lead. And that upsets me because I like I like Jon Snow and I want big things for him. And maybe again, this is he'll, he'll learn from this. This episode was all over the place. Season 2 is is all over the it, 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 it's It has a far reach. We spend time with Sansa and the Hound. And we learn that Sansa now um, is fertile. And she's able to bear Joffrey's children, which even Cersei is kind of like, I know that we have to, but that seems like a bad idea. Uh, in addition to Sansa, we also got Danny and her dragons and the quest for the dragons. And she gets an invitation from the warlock at Karth um, to join the House of the Undying. And he has this great power uh, where he's able to uh, duplicate himself in a multiplicity kind of way. And he uses that power to position himself behind all of the leaders of the 13 and beheads them all. So Karth, which seems like the greatest city on earth, is about to evolve. And Danny may be in a position where she's able to sort of help take that over. But she's been thrust in that position because they took her dragons from her. Everyone needs to really um, acknowledge the power of the dragons and fear when they grow how much power uh, Daenerys is actually going to have. I'm assuming she's going to get to... Westeros eventually and when that happens if she's got full-blown dragons with her that's gonna be amazing oh because we learned Aaron Hall was attacked by dragons at one point and it was the most formidable fortress like he said hundreds of thousands of soldiers could have marched on Aaron Hall and it would have held its ground but the one thing that it was not prepared for was an aerial assault 
by dragons. And that seems like foreshadowing, right? And here, I don't know if it's going to be Heron Hall. Maybe it's King's Landing. Uh, maybe as much as King's Landing is bracing for an attack by ships, they need to be thinking about potential attacks from air. And everyone's forgotten about dragons because they have not been around. It feels like um, having Stannis arrive at King's Landing is going to be the big end to this season. Well, yeah, that and Winterfell. I, I think still the two locations of Winterfell and King's Landing are going to be pretty significant because the Greyjoys... Oh, gosh. Theon, if that really is Bran, I cannot imagine the hurt that you just brought down upon yourself we will find out when we move on to season two episode eight so be sure to join us here when we drop that video and if you want to find out when we drop it you're going to want to go down hit subscribe turn on your notifications and continue this journey with me through all of the episodes of game of thrones